Hello, everybody. Welcome back. The Lunar Silver Star Harmony. It's been a little bit. Just a little bit. You know. Five days. <laughs> five days, I think. I don't know. I, I, I have work. And whenever I'm done with work, a lot of the time I'm just like, nah, I'm going to bed. And then when I wake up and it's just like, nah, I want to lay in bed a little more until I have to go to work. And... It happens. Uh, I'm excited to be back, though, because a lot happened last time, and the, the game is picking up. The game is picking up speed, and I hope it continues to pick up speed. This is Reza. Reza? Reza. A refuge of those too guilty to live in the law-abiding world. Welcome to Reza. Not exactly the wealthiest town in the Marius region. But a great place to learn the latest news and gossip. And the beer is absolutely divine. Hey! Excuse me. No, are you alright? Well, the inhabitants of Razor certainly are rude. I can see, see why Kyle fits in so nicely here. Hey, no. Did that guy bump into you? Y yes. Wait. The white dragon wings. They're gone. Well, you just learned the only real downer to this place. The den of thieves. There's so many of them, they formed a guild. Watch your valuables. This case can get a little rough. Hey, Kyle. Perhaps you could have warned us before Nal got robbed. Raise is a big town. If we're going to find those rings, we better start looking now. I know you heard me, you selectively deaf weasel. Good. All these people called Reza the town of thieves, but we don't just steal from anyone, you know? We only go after the rich folks who can afford it. You know, people like Master Mel. What? If I... Why did this pop up? Go away. What? If I ever caught you sneaking to my house, I'd break your kneecap. Oh, well, okay. Diamond you antiques from the Magic Guild in vain. Oh, my. But in vain, and I'll strike you with thunder magic until your eyes boil in their sockets. Hmm. Maybe I'll just hit up the unsuspecting village of Berg next. Try that, and you'll be lucky to make it out with your life. But even if you do, don't be expecting that you'll still have your hands attached either. Next, I'll be a good thief and stay in bed. I've given up my thieving ways, so please don't hurt me. I promise I'll be a good boy and stay in bed. Rule number one, hard work. Or work hard. Rule number two, learn much. Rule number three, steal all. Those are the basic rules of the Thieves' Guild. Follow them all and you'll be very successful. Stick to the three basic rules of the Thieves' Guild and you won't get caught. Or at least, not as much as you used to. Stroll directly south from here, and you'll find the town of Illuk. It is always a gamble to travel there for the purpose of the purposes of theater thievery. The intention, the inventions to be found, are either super valuable or completely worthless. My last visit to Illuk was a failure. All I found were some rather large vegetables and floating balloons. Well, of course, my store is small. Low overhead equals high profits. Now come on, buy something. What do you got? And nothing important. So you're leaving already? Fine. Maybe we'll spend a little more the next time you're in here. I know that people say terrible things about Reza, but we're all good people here. Although some of us can be a bit intimidating at first. Good people who do bad things. My husband has a heart of gold beneath his rough exterior. He's just lucky none of his friends know that, or they'd try to steal it. <laughs> Razor was founded by people like me, the notorious lawbenders who had to flee from justice or pay the ultimate price. Now our once great city has become a town of petty thieves selling their stolen goods at a filthy flea market. It's a tragedy, I tell you. Oh, I was a great criminal in my day. 
now I'm just living out the rest of my life in peace and quiet. The world isn't as peaceful as you think, old man. This is awful. I've been assigned by the Thieves Guild to burgle the town of Illuk next month. Like there's all like there's anything valuable among that collection of kooks and crackpots. Why not assign me to Moribia? I'd even take Nanza. Hey, I like a big challenge as much as the next thief. Hello? I I I, I, I hello. <laughs> We've got weapons from all over the world. Come on over here and take a look. My blade. Okay. Pretty good. Oops. Let me actually equip these guys. There we go. Okay. We're always getting new weapons in here, so keep checking back because I want your money. Fair. I don't think there's ever been a better time to be a member of the Thieves Guild. Our leader has a sharp mind for business and our new recruits are quick learners. Why don't you kids join up too? You look pretty smart to me. That's right. We're smart enough not to enter the world of organized crime. Too bad you can't see reality from the saddle of that high horse all you're on. <laughs> Nothing changes your principles faster than a foul wad of cash in the palm of your hands. Oops. Come on and spend some money before I have to steal it from you. Ooh, mithril armlet. Okay. Okay. Oops. Sell armor. Don't miss the armory in the Thieves Guild. My brother will give you some great deals. That will rip you off. Depends on his mood. Alright. Pretty good. Pretty good. What's wrong, children? You look scared. Has something been stolen from you? Seems that everyone's a thief in this town. Even me! There are many stolen goods for sale in the Thieves' Bazaar. Your missing item might be there. But you can't get in unless you're a member of the Thieves' Guild. Oh no, you can't mar borrow my guild card. I invent tools to make the craft of thievery easier and safer. But the members of the Thieves' Guild think they're too good to need my inventions. They keep telling me to move to Illuk. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I'm a thief, not a kook. I'd rather live in Reza and be considered a freak than live in Illuk and know I'm a freak. Nope. Alrighty. I was headed for the Thieves' Bazaar, but I stumbled into the guild headquarters instead. I hate it in there. All they do is talk about which thieves make the most money. Just because I'm not pulling in the big bucks doesn't mean I'm not a good thief. Guys at guild headquarters focus too much on the money. Beavery isn't just an occupation, it's an art. And I do this more for the love than the money. Well, before I got married anyway. Hello children, are you lost? It wouldn't surprise me. Razor was intentionally built with a confusing design to make it easier for thieves to hide and to run away. My husband is a member of the guild, and he still gets lost for hours at a time. At first, I thought my husband was cheating on me, and getting, lo and getting lost in Razor was just his cover. But when I followed him around town for most of an afternoon, I found out he was telling the truth. I'm amazed they haven't kicked him out of the thieves guild yet.
Yes, well, now I've been given a distinctly different assignment for my, for my superiors at the Thieves' Guild. I'll be robbing the people of Muriad next month. There aren't any many hiding places at the criminal el of the criminal element, but the residents are so slow they they won't even realize that they've been plundered. Right. And what's your assignment? I haven't seen you around before. We're not thieves. Yes. Well, you look like a fine young group of robbers. Perhaps the lot of you can come to Muriad with me. You don't get it. We're not robbers. We're robbies. Oh, hello. Don't mind the smile on my face. Just got done with another big shopping spree at the Thieves' Bazaar. They have everything you could imagine, and all at rock-bottom prices. It's easy to have great prices when you get all your inventory for free. I even saw some magic items for sale today. I wonder where they came from. What? Tell me it's not true that these thieves are somehow lifting stuff from vain. Yo, there's a chest over there. It was a red chest, though. I don't see that thief anywhere, but I know he ran in here. Talk to the barkeep and find out where he went, and stay calm. Just stay calm. Hey, Alex, does the old man at the counter look kind of familiar? Ooh. Lily has shut herself in her room and won't come out. The poor girl's been terrified ever since she heard about the singers being kidnapped by the Vile Tribe. Even more depressing is that she's too terrified to sing. Head of the guild puts on a brave face, but I've seen him on the verge of tears several times. It's also senseless. I keep hearing about this evil group called the Vile Tribe that lives on the frontier. Who the hell is the Vile Tribe, and who the hell could survive out there? Seems as though almost everyone outside of Vane has forgotten the Vile Tribe and its past. I keep hearing about the... Da, 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 da. See the old guy behind the counter? He ain't no bartender. He's the head of the Thieves' Guild and the Mayor of Reza. Head of the Guild is a wise man and a great leader, but he was one. He has one noticeable weakness. His granddaughter, Lily. He spoils that little girl rotten. Lily should be standing on the table right now and singing her dear little heart out. If I wasn't too drunk to see straight, I'd be looking out for the little love right now. Good to see that he has his priorities straight. Got that dear little girl here to sing for us. I don't even know. None of you to steal anymore. All I can do tomorrow is save myself if you're drinking. Ho ho ho! Hello, Alex. Wouldn't have expected to see you in a place like this. Uh, a lot of thieves and razor. Make sure you keep a firm grip on your possessions. Too late. You've already been robbed. Good luck finding the culprit. Oh, oh, oh. Dalex, take it you came this way to find the Red Dragon. But the only way to get there is by flying over the mountains. So what are you going to do? I can't fly to the cave by myself, Alex. What are we going to do? There are some flying machines out there in the world, so how about you try to locate one? And again, I'm not even sure what one of those contraptions would look like to begin with. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, Kyle. Haven't haven't seen you around for a while. Sit down and have a drink, lad. Hell, have three. Let's hear some stories about life in Nanza. I wish I could, friend, but I'm not here to tell tales and swill ale. Someone stole a valuable item from a member of my group, and I'm here to get it back. That's a shame, Kyle. Complaining about thievery and razor just isn't going to get you very far, if you know what I mean. Actually, I was hoping you could help us get it back. You're an influential guy around here. Isn't there anything you can do? Well, this must be important if you're trying to use flattery. <laughs> there is a way to get your item back. Member of the guild, members of the guild aren't allowed to steal from other members. If one of you joins the guild, whoever stole your item will have to give it back to you. Not as easy as I had hoped, but I guess we really don't have a choice. So how do I join the guild? Your thieving skills have to be tested by one of the guild elites. He can be found working in Muriad this week. Finding him is also part of the test. You know how to get to Muriad, right? Just walk along the coast of the Inland Sea until you reach it. Muriad? That's practically in the Stadius region. Are we strong enough to go that far? Hey, you guys can stay here if you want. I'm the only one who has to pass the test. 
long as you all don't mind being labeled wimps for life, I'm fine with it. There's nothing else I can tell you until you travel to Muriad and take the test, Tuck Kyle. Just walk along the shore of the Inland Sea until you get there. It's a lovely walk. Long, but lovely. Muriad's a lovely place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. The people who live there tend to have family trees that loop into clover. If you catch my drift. Oops. Oh, Muriad Forest. Eluk. And to pass. Okay, hang on. Eluk. This is the town of Eluk. It's a gathering of geeks and oddballs possessed with the idea of inventing. If you're looking for Reza, it's to the north of Myriad, and it, it, it's to the north, and Myriad is through the woods to the northeast. You'll find that both of them to be much more normal than here. Have you tried to swim in lemon jelly? It's actually quite refreshing. Those uptight jerks and Reza won't even try it. This week's hot girl news says that the reclusive Mia Alsa has left Vane for the first time in her life. Do you know how much a picture of her would be worth in the publisher to the publishers of Hot Girl News? Well, do you? As soon as I get a solid lead as to her location, I'm taking my camera and finding that mysterious vixen. Alex, this man thinks me very uncomfortable. We should leave here right away. It's come to my ears that the Mia Alsa of Vane has left on a journey. I wonder where she could be at this very moment. You wouldn't happen to know, would you? The woman in that painting. I've seen her before, Alex. It's a portrait of my mother when she first co assumed command of the Magic Guild. You're right, that's Lemia. I wonder how this man obtained such an interesting picture. Wow, Lemia was hot. I wish I'd met her when she was younger. So what will my brother do after he descends to the bottom of the ocean? He needs to think before he starts building his inventions, not after. You want an example? The washing machine he built started out as an indoor jacuzzi. Well, it's about time for an explosion. I better go start gathering wood to repair the roof. It's hopeless. He's hopeless. I've told him a million times to clean his room before he lost something important, and now... Oh, uh, uh, hi, how can I help you today? Ooh, you have a mithril bangle. Cool. Thank you very much, come again. That's strange. I know I left them around here somewhere. Wouldn't throw those blueprints out by accident, would I? Uh-oh. Not in the garbage can, either. Need to ask around town and see if I gave them to someone by mistake. There's a lot of strange junk on these shelves. See anything like a potion to make you invisible? The glasses let you see through clothes. You'll be seeing stars if you don't cut it out, buster. Alex, I don't know about... What any of this is used for. But what I really want to know is, where did you get the rubber pants my size? Where did they get rubber pants? Okay. The season's crop was mediocre, but I'm sure my husband will be able to determine what went wrong in time for the next planting. Hmm. Oh, the frustration. Just when I finally solved the problem of size, I encountered the problem of taste. If 
can't sell these vegetables when they have the flavor of boiled shoes. God, frustration. Hey, check out the plant growing in this tank. Never seen anything like them before. You mean you've never eaten anything like them before? Thanks to my brother's great machine, clothes dry faster in Eluk than anywhere in the world. People gave me tips if I crank faster to dry their clothes quicker. Well, back to work. Wet clothes are hung on the pole and spun around at a minimum of 25 revolutions per minute. They come off the pole smelling clean and fresh and dry. My brother says the machine will solve the world's laundry problems. I don't even know the world had any laundry problems, but my brother is never wrong. Well, back to work. With this amazing device, a daring man or woman can explore the dark depths of the, o of the open ocean. The dual air tanks allow for over an hour of uninterrupted communion with the creatures of the sea. Which reminds me, please don't touch the red switch on the wall. Overinflating the tanks would be a very bad idea. The body of my div diving machine still isn't waterproof enough. I need to formulate a stronger seal. No, don't touch that switch. LMAO. I was almost finished. That's why I asked you not to touch the switch. Ah I'm sorry. I don't have any choice but to rebuild my diving machine and come up with a different type of waterproofing. It's obvious that using reclaimed slug trail matter was a poor choice at best. Alrighty. I didn't actually do much exploring around here. This is the spring of the goddess Athena. If you enter its soothing waters, you can purify your soul. Do you wish to enter? Yes, my body is getting to me. No, this underwear is... Oh. As you must know, springs where the two sexes bathe together are not permitted. In light of that, it is now necessary to inform you that this is a spring for males only. Female companions may wait over there or seek out the springs designed for the designated for them. Why does he have so many hair care products? Well, now I'm certain you must feel refreshed. Your skin is absolutely radiant. Time to purify yourself again. It's good to see young people so concerned about their personal hygiene. Are you prepared to enter? Bring on the nakedity? <laughs> Not today. I'm cultivating my manly smell. Been here before, so I'm surprised you failed to remember the soap. Right here when you find a bar. That's what the soap is for. Fuck, I completely forgot about the soap. <laughs> I completely forgot about the soap, to be honest. Do we get a different scene every single time we bring soap? Or is there one scene that's the men, one scene that's the girls? That might be it. Or maybe it's, or maybe there is no girls. There's, there's got to be a girls. There's got to be a girl scene because they, they already have like. The weird, like, what are they call called? Bromides? The bromides that have, like... Not even, like, lewd situations. I guess kind of. Aim Spire. I, like, accidentally misclicked into that. I don't know what the hell Damon Spire is. Hang on. Curious. Those who seek the Guardian of Knowledge must have a special knowledge first. 
What does that mean? Do we need to know a password or something? I'm just wasting our time here, Alex. Let's go to Muriad. And Okay. Muriad Forest. The most menacing mute. That's the most terrifying fucking monster I think I've seen in my life. Oh god, they're everywhere. They're common monsters. First brain. Ew. How well does the AI do? Oh god, these guys are like tough. You fucking power sweeped at nothing? Curse bomb. Ew. Okay. Hmm. Nash leveled up. He learned Spark Ball. Jessica leveled up too. Cool. Killer Buzz. Venom Needle. Ow! Oops, I accidentally did AI again. slugs. Oh, cool. Everything is weak to, like, physical attacks.
me a load up. A two thousand. Nash leveled up again. Insects. That was a lot. Alex leveled up. Stop! Okay, those bees are terrifying. Another 2,000.
There we go. Jessica leveled up. Ow. Ow. Oop. Nash leveled up and learned Sleep. Mia leveled up and learned Ice Geyser. Thank you. Muriad Forest. Muriad. So this is Muriad. This is amazing, Alex. They built a city entirely of wooden planks suspended over the water. Actually, the real amazing part is that these hicks managed to nail anything not related to them. But uh, anything. Let's get cracking and find the, this Thieves Guild test giver who's supposed to be here. Welcome to my yard, kids. I'm, a, I'm Mark Cunningham. We're all family here. For sure, here people had a devil little time crossing the river. The two sides of my eye were together right here, boys. Welcome to Marriott. My name's Cunningham. Since we're all family here, I thought I'd give you a neighborly warning about that bridge over yonder. Is there yes, Rogers? Or we have for there. Alex, do you think it's safe for us to cross? Don't worry, Mia. You'll be all right. People say that those with pure hearts can safely cross. Nash, that line coming out of your mouth is so unlike you. So fake. It actually did damage to my soul. Well, we should at least give it a shot. Let's just run across. And if you want to go to the other side of the bridge, this is the only way. These days, I've been a might bit discouraged. You see, I've been living here to study this clan that started Muriad as part of my anthropology studies. But now that the land is literally crawling with monsters, I can't get away from this town to take a break. These days, I've been a might bit discouraged. Thank you kindly for coming to my store. How can I help you all today? Wrath Ring. Here, come back and are you here? Hey, you don't got two party girls there. Why don't you give one? <laughs> give one to me. My Cunningham is all I got. I heard this guy on fellas looking for Athena. That's why I was in Zenobia steal all the girls to seem good. At least that actually sounded logical. But, but if that's Galleon's plan... Yeah, my name's Cunningham. I want to tell you that this fellow over yonder looks to be a minor suspicious. Don't have no proof, but he just give me the willies. I've heard a dancer like other bars, but I don't make no money. I wonder why that is. Uh, 
They say the girls that sing real pretty are the ones nobody is going for. That their dancer is easy on the eyes. You can't sing or dance where it means. <laughs> Ooh, I'm just singing and singing and I need a rest. I'm back later. What? Your newbie's from the Thieves Guild? I don't get it. I'm just a drunk person. I believe this guy might really be an inspector. Hmm. Oh, our son, I'm Billy Kahn, and the best common in this village. You know? My great grandpapa's great grandpapa built this uh, bridge over yonder. My little ones went to the festival and fell head over here with a singer named Lily. I don't know what he's gonna do if he marries outside a happy little town. Have normal children. Now, little one says that even though li li Lily is a little, um, she sang really pretty at the festival. Hi there. Are y'all from that town? Or is it by any chance that girl in the party thing I ever seen? And she can sing like an angel. And I, uh, Oh, Lady Boots from Dang Fool, Magic Mirror on Black Rose Street, the Dark Hang, yeah, some kind of way of making an ugly thing look more pretty than freaky, if you if you ask me. I told my old lady she could have anything she wanted for her birthday last week. She asked me for a Magic Mirror for Black Rose Street, and now she's obsessed with it. My eyes were a bit bigger, and my nose was a little high. Magic, and my mouth was a mouth smaller. Looked just like Goddess Athena. Well, that's a mouthful. Come from Buckeye Triple Lips. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And oh, I've been reading them self help books. The same beauty comes from inside. If, an, if an I imagine myself to be looking like the Goddess, I think I really can look like that. place is awful. <laughs> <coughs> All right, travelers, the beast, the monsters get my stronger, so you should get better weapons. There's a mine of dangers out there. Be careful now. Wait a minute. Didn't even notice you. Um, I wonder which armor is better. The one on the right looks nice because it has horns, but the one on the left is a shield. Help. Help. Alright. Creak, crack, crack. Hey, what are those strange sounds just now? Creak and the crack. I I think the bridge just moved. Crack. I, I'm feeling a little scared now. Maybe we should turn back. Ah! Jessica! This doesn't look good. We better help. Oh, no. Crack snap. It's gonna fall. Ah! Alex, are you all right? You're all sopping wet. It's not your lucky t day, is it? I wonder if everyone's okay. What are you doing with Mia? It looks like Mia over there, huh? Someone's hitting on her, Alex. We better get over there and help before some jerk tries to take advantage of her. 
I don't try to fix this place up here. Still doing piss poor business. What's wrong? Get away from her. Get away from her. Well, uh, you see, I... Uh, Alex, perfect timing. This gentleman has invited us for tea. Let's make sure to show him our appreciation by letting him foot the bill. For everyone. How dare you try to hit on... He try to hit on you, Mia. Come on, let's beat him up. Okay, Alex? Please don't, Null. I don't think he really knows any better. Well, it's your call then. Let's go, Mia. Come on, let's look for Jessica and the others, Alex. Hey, baby, where are you hanging out with our closures? Oh, I reckon you should dump them. You can make beautiful music together if you want. Uh, I... I'm... Can't you see that you're just bothering Mia? Now scat! Hey, baby, my name is Mike. Mike Cunningham. Why don't you dump them there chumps and have a couple of... Couple of Joe with me? Persistent little bugger. Get out of your shoe! Help, 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 help. Do we have to go inside places? Yes. Kyle, you dove into the river to save me, knowing full well you couldn't swim. Why do you always have something to prove, when if you drown, it won't amount to anything? Why don't you ever think about the consequences of your own actions? Come on, Kyle. Please open your eyes. Kyle? All right. Someone had better tell me right now who's making Jessica cry, because I'm going to kick their face in. K Kyle! Huh? Oh, hey, Jess. Have you just been crying or something? Th the heck I was. That's right. What was I thinking? Guess I must have been seeing a dream from my childhood. <laughs> what do you mean dream, you overgrown buffoon? Hey, that hurts. Why you gotta be like that, Jess? I'm the daughter of the Master Mel is why. Not to mention my mother delivered me in the waters of Moribia's ocean. Don't you ever think about the fact that I can even swim out... That I can even outswim a fish. Yet you're still running around with something to prove. Alright, alright, I get it, Jess. Just stop giving me the beatdown with that fist of yours already. You're seriously the biggest dummy to ever walk the planet. Who are you calling a dummy, you freaking shrew? Should have left you the sharks. One taste of you would give him the runs anyway. What'd you just say? You heard me the first time. Jessica and Kyle really compliment each other, don't they? What? Those two? Mia, I'm not sure what to make of either of them. <laughs> I guess all we have left is Nat is to find Nash. Let's go. You seriously make me sick to my stomach, Jess. Get moving and find this dude from the Thieves Guild, Alex. Pronto. All right, he's in the bar. How many times have I told you before? I've already talked things over with the guild chief. Hurry up and give us the thieves' crest or whatever the heck you call it. How many times have I told you before? It doesn't matter what the game is. The test is all about being able to beat us at something. You really don't get it, do you? Why should I be forced to do something stupid like that? Well, obviously, that's because I'm the inspector for the thieves' guild this weekend. Because I don't like the tone of your voice, boy. How do you like that? Doesn't that idiot realize he's dealing with a member of the Thieves' Guild? They're all quite the awkward bunch. <laughs> Bet Nash is having the hardest time dealing with him. Let's go have ourselves a good laugh. Hey, Alex. It seems as though this guy is the inspector from the Thieves' Guild. But he's, but he's like talking to a brick wall. The only one here who's like a brick wall is you. Guild's entrance exam is clear-cut. Like I said a gazillion times before, it doesn't matter about the content of the game. All that matters is that you get me to say these two simple words. I lost. How easy is that? Oh, really? 
I think the great Kyle will just take you up on that offer. Then let the games begin. Not r about ready to lose to a young blowhard like yourself. I... I lost. I've hit my limit. I can't drink another drop. <laughs> what do you think about that? Great Kyle has never lost in a drinking game. Ever. <laughs> Definitely not something worth bragging about. <laughs> All right, then. And give me the damn thieves question or whatever. And the hell you call it. I, I apologize, buddy. I, I really do. But the real test is to retrieve the treasure from Damon Spire, which lies to the south of Muriad. To us thieves, it's the most valuable thing there is. All you need to do is give it to the guild leader and you pass. Yeah. Hell, now you're telling me to get some treasure from Damon Spire? But Damon Spire? You mean where Damon, the Keeper of Knowledge, resides? Yes, that's right. Very well informed, miss. <laughs> In order to enter the spire, password will be required to please. So please take this with you. The old notebook. As long as you have got that old notebook, you should be able to get into the spire. Uh, well, all right then. To the south it is, and onward to Damon's spire. All righty. Um, so, Damon Spire is to the south, right? Damon, guardian of knowledge. Bet he's got a library rivaling even that of Vane's. Back through the forest. All the shit that can kill me really quickly. Alex leveled up. Here we go.
Ah, uh, load up. Just gotta load up. Hold up. How? Got him. Need to load up. Ow. Got him. Okay. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> Why is he here? What, what the? Dad? What are you doing out here? Jessica. My dear Jessica. Please don't leave me here. It's so cold. So lonely. Jessica, look out! <clears throat> what the? What's happening? What have you done to them? Help me, Althena. Give me the power to break this spell. No. Not again. My father. My friends. And Kyle. I've lost everyone I ever cared about. Come to me, Jessica. Join me. Join your friends. You will live forever. And you will never be alone. Yes. Kyle? Mel would never ask his daughter to join him in death, you monster. I don't know what the hell you are. But I'm going to sever you limb from limb. Bring it on, hag. Idle Mel. damage.
There we go. That was easy. Zero XP. Yeah, that was easy. That is not like a fight fight. Curse you. Royce. You've gone way too far this time, you shapely hag. I made the mistake of underestimating you, and I shan't do it again. How was I to know that you could shatter my magic with your spirit alone? That's what we like to call the power of the human heart, so get used to it. Now how about we get down to a little business? Tempting, but perhaps later. Kyle, I... Hey, hey. It was nothing. I mean, it's what I'm here for. Besides... Felt good to beat up your dad. When you saw I was in danger, you broke out of the stone and saved me. Your feelings for me were what broke the spell. Um, yeah, yeah! What are you two doing? Come on, let's get moving. Oh, right, of course. Well, Kyle, shall we get going? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Alrighty. Those who seek the Guardian of Knowledge must have a special knowledge first. Uh, special knowledge first. Hey, maybe it's something in the notebook. I believe you're correct, Nal. Wait, give me a moment. Here it is. Intelligence is the ultimate strength, and wisdom is the ultimate power. You possess the cornerstone which can become the foundation. You may enter. Step onto the tiles of red to unlock the door and gain entrance. Okay. And that leads in here. Judging from the outside, this place is at least six stories tall, but where are the stairs? I'm not going to let these goons beat me to the top and take my treasure away. Well, it's technically not mine, but until I steal it. But you, you know what I mean. Let's be that side. Okay. Oh, it's empty. Because all the thieves took it. That's strange. I feel like I've already come through this place several times before. No matter how long I wander around, I can't find a stairway to go up. What's the deal with this place? I was well chuffed when I noticed the red tiles on the floor make a strange noise when you step on them. I seem to be the only one who gives a toss about it. Okay. Thieves Guild has never been able to plunder Damon Spire, and that's why the boss sent us here. We're the best of the best. If anyone can loot this joint, it's us. Make sure you stay out of our way. Damon gathered all the world's knowledge. I'm sure he gathered some of the world's treasures in the process. What do you think Damon's treasure looks like? I wonder if it's that. No, 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 maybe it's... <laughs> hey, I know how exciting it'd be to steal, buddy, but it's not that exciting. I don't know, Kyle. I've seen you get pretty excited after stealing a kiss from me. Oh, I just can't wait to see what fabulous treasures Damon is hoarding. I feel tingly all over. Empty. Empty. Huh. Interesting. The 
This is not hard. <laughs> I, Damon, have granted you the privilege to tread within these sacred walls. However, if you wish to proceed any further, you must answer my question. What is the source which allows our world to be created by the hand of Althena? I have a question of my own. What the hell are you talking about, you fruitcake? I was about to ask something like that myself. Shouldn't a brilliant student like you know the answer to this one, Nash? Duh, of course. Duh, of course I do. You don't sound too sure, Nash. Alex, why don't we let Mia try to answer this instead? Give Nash a chance. You say you know the answer, Nash. Let's hear it. Alex, every once in a while, I'm reminded of your great wisdom. I only wish ones in our group appreciated your intellect. The answer is the Magic Guild. Now let us pass. But well, look at that. Absolutely nothing happened. But I know you'll manage to come out of this with your ego fully intact and overflated. Doesn't make any sense. Perhaps the old man didn't hear me clearly enough. I said, the Magic Guild. Actually, your answer was incorrect. My mother spoke to me of this subject long ago. The answer is magic. You are correct. You may proceed. Mia, if you knew the answer, you should have told us sooner. I'm sorry, I really, really did think Nash knew the answer. Yeah, Kat, at least she was showing me the proper respect. Mia simply prefers not to boast of her intellect. Too bad you can't be that way. Too bad you can't be that way, butt brain. What's that supposed to mean, you over tan shoplifter? Both of you shut up. This isn't the time or the place to compare your egos. We have to get back to the task at hand, namely finding our way to the top. What the fuck are you? Mummy clone? Ba -ba -da -ba. Da, 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 da. Yo. Okay, magic. Or thunder. That night. Thunder. Got him. Okay. Starlight. Starlight. Alex leveled up. Nash leveled up. Uh-huh. 
All right. I love it up. There we go. Just go love it up. Got him. You love to see it. To proceed further, you must demonstrate your mental fortitude by answering my question. People who rely entirely on force shall ultimately be, be destroyed by force. What? We can't use force? Calm down, Kyle. If you had listened for once, you'd know he didn't say that. Please continue, Damon. <clears throat> but the person who controls force can avoid it altogether. What controls force? What kind of game is this, old man? Even I know the answer to that one. Come on, Alex, let me handle this. Don't think of the I don't think this is a question that Kyle can answer. She's right, Alex. We can't place our faith in the hands of this brain-dead brigand. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong, Nash, or you might get, get it cut off. Calm down, you two. Alex, this is your call. I think Kyle should be able to try. Give Kyle a chance. Ah, you see that, Nash? Us real men stick together. Okay, old man, you ready for this answer? Here it comes. Yeah! You are incorrect. Can't say I'm surprised, Kyle. Are you starting to understand what Damon said about force? If he does, I don't think he'd survive a s survive smacking into that magic barrier again. Just save the lecture until my hearing comes back. If it comes back. Uh -huh. Now that I wouldn't mind seeing that spectacle again, what are we what are we ready for the real answer? Let's hear your guess, Nash. The answer, Damon, is skill. Skill controls force. You are correct. You may proceed. Well, it's good to see you come through once in a while, Nash. That was quite impressive, Nash. Thank you, Mia. But it really was an easy question. At least for me, anyway. You got lucky, magic boy. And I guarantee it's gonna run out soon. Don't be so grumpy, Kyle. You got us past the barrier, which is more than you can say. Hell Beast.
Okay. Starlight Ritual Garment? Just you. Got him. Ow. You guys hit hard. Nash leveled up. He learned Electro Shower. Lightning. Ow. Goblins? Evil Cyclopses. Electro Shower. Ow! That's a lot of damage. Petrogaze. Petrogaze. Yeah. Alex leveled up. Gaze. Lightning. Tile leveled up. Lightning. Jessica leveled up. Stop using lightning on her.
He leveled up, learned Flame Blast. Library. Okay. And then these guys respawned. Got him. Okay. That man seems to be in a great deal of pain. I wonder if he has a stomach ache. I bet he was eating stuff of the off the ground and got thick. I'm pretty sure you're the only one who does that sort of thing, Kyle. Yeah, who else would do something like that in this day and age? What's wrong, Alex? Uh, nothing. Leave this sick little conversation behind and get on the with things. We'd better find out what's really wrong with the guy on the floor. Are you feeling ill, sir? It's nothing. I'm busy. Go away! Well, excuse us for caring. Don't worry about this guy, Alex. If he says he's okay, then he must be okay, right? Besides, there's already a staircase, so let's go. Wait just a minute, you're a, uh, a uh, priestess, aren't you? Well, yes, only a priestess of the goddess Athena is allowed to wear these robes. You're a job to heal people in distress, isn't it? So use one of those healing spells they teach you, quick! What are you babbling about? When Mia asked you a second ago, you said it was nothing. That was then, this is now. Let the f healing spell fly, sugar. Till I know the cause of your pain, I don't know what kind of magic to use. Please tell us what's wrong. My stomach just started hurling, hurting all of a sudden. I swear it's not because I ate that cookie lying on the floor over there. Alright, alright. You ate something off the floor and got a stomach ache, right? By the goddess, this is stupid. What should I do, Alex? Help this guy out or just get back to finding the next door? 
help him. His pain seems genuine, Jessica. Please help him. Come on, Alex, this guy's a jerk. I tend not to want to help anyone who yells at me. Please, Jessica. Alex wouldn't have asked if he didn't think it was the right thing to do. Okay, you're right. You should help him, regardless of his lack of social skills. Your actions were correct. You may proceed. Now that I am impressed by your performance thus far. I'm not impressed by your last test, Damon. That wasn't fair. Young lady, you are hardly in a position to tell me what. I may have helped you out because Alex said to, but I really hate people, people who abuse someone else's good intentions. I don't want to hear any excuses. If you ever do that again, I'm going to leave you looking like a pile of shredded newspapers. You hear me? I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. I feel much better now that I've got that off my chest. Okay, let's go. Jess, your mood swings are more violent than a hurricane. What did you say? N nothing, my darling Jessica. Oh, great. Now we're talking. Now you're talking like that boatman, too. Knock it off, will you? Uh, all right, then. Let's move along. Oh, God, the enemy spawned back in. Ice Pendant. Thunder and Fire Damage have. Interesting. Someone has something similar. Ah, oh, fuck, wait. That was the one I still had equipped to Luna, wasn't it? It was. Oh well. Starlight. There we go. Nash leveled up. Oh, okay. Help.
If you wish to proceed further, you must make a decision. In making your way through the spire, who was the least helpful? You must yield them to me as a prisoner. What the hell are you talking about? None of us are going to be your prisoner, Damon. Either you surrender your weakest member, or you shall all perish. Did I mention how much I hate your guts, old man? This is a real problem, Alex. How are we going to decide which one of us becomes Damon's prisoner? We can't decide, because none of us was the least useful. We made it this far by working together, Alex. That's true, but I don't think Damon cares. So what are we going to do, Alex? You can't have Kyle. Can't let him have Kyle. Then who? Definitely not Jessica. Guess we can't let him have Jessica either. Well then, who's it going to be? Absolutely not Mia. Of course it's not. We never do anything like that to her. But who's left? We need Nash. I won't give up Nash. Alex, the only one left is... Ah, fuck. I'll be Damon's prisoner. Can't let anyone else be Damon's prisoner, so I'll go instead. Alex, you can't be Damon's prisoner. None of us would be here without you. Are you sure we can't make Nash go as Damon's prisoner? He is the most useless person here, if you think about it. Still your tongue, cat. The only one who's helped more than I is Mia. It would be impossible for you to overcome the obstacle ahead if you do not work together. Slowed up. Said to yourself, without your combined efforts, you would never have advanced this far into the spire. Now that you fully understand the importance of cooperation, you may proceed to the next floor. This crusty old coop messes with our minds one more time. I'm gonna get really mad. You're, the, you're not the only one, Jess. If I grind my teeth any harder, they're gonna crack. Please calm down, you two. All that matters now is that we continue to the next floor. Is it just me, or is it unusually peaceful on this floor? I don't feel any nearby magic, but I think Kyle is wise to be suspicious. Maybe the monsters ran away because they heard we were kicking butt and taking names. Maybe Damon gave up the, gave up the test because he knew we'll just pass them all. That would be nice, Donald, but I think we should stay alert until we reach the top. Yeah, what Mia said, Cat. Well, excuse me for thinking positive, Nash. What's this? A big lump of clay? And what are we supposed to do with this, exactly? You will sculpt the clay into an image of what you consider to be a priceless treasure. However, if the creation fails to impress me, you shan't be allowed to enter my private chamber. This lump's too big for us to sculpt it alone, so the five of us have to work together. Hey, what about me? Since we can't each make our own treasure, one of us will have to direct the others. I'm the resident brigand and treasure expert, so I think the choice is obvious. Unless someone has a problem with that. Yes. Yeah, I do. We all have to make this decision, Kyle. And you'd just have to make... And you'd just have us make something worthless anyway. Indeed he would. Whereas I live in vain, the most beautiful city in the world. I'm overflowing with unsurpassed artistic sensibility. Back off, Ego Angelo. The, uh, the last thing I need is you and Kyle to have a narcissism duel. Mia, yeah, who do you think should decide what to make? Well, since we have no idea what will impress Damon, I believe we should take turns guiding our sculpting efforts. I knew Mia was the smartest of us all. Okay, Alex, who's going to be the first leader? 
Kyle sounds like a good option. You go first, Kyle. Alex, as usual, you made the right choice, and I promise to enjoy bossing you all around. So what are you planning to create, boss? Don't keep us in suspense. <laughs> I won't spoil the surprise, but I can tell you it'll be a beautiful sight. This from a guy who uses the word beautiful to describe a beer from a good head of foam. Alex, you have to make that part bigger and longer. Yes, what are you doing? I knew you'd be bad at this. Nash, that's too twisted. A little to the left, Mia. Come on, no, we're almost done. No time for a snack break. Uh, Kyle, I think you're going to have to tell us what we just made. I'm afraid to guess. Come on, Jess, it's a work of art. The Vintage Crowbar, or what we in the trade commonly call a Jimmy. Kyle, I've seen you do a lot of stupid things in my life, and I've just seen one more. Weren't you listening to me? This baby can't get you, can get you in and out of most places than any other single device. Once a thief, always a thief, I suppose. I just thought you were different. But Jess, this thing really is a treasure. It can open even the most stubborn vault. You have done well, but not well enough to impress me. Redouble your efforts and try again. Okay, Alex, it's going to be our leader this time. Not Kyle. Then who? What about Jessica? What, what do you think, Jessica? Would you mind being the leader? I won't disappoint you, Alex. My sculpture is going to leave J Damon's jaw on the floor. What are you going to make? Something that's more important. That's been important to me since I was a child, Mia. Uh, Jess, I don't think Damon will be woed by a sculpture of your teddy bear, do you? Zip it, pig boy. It looks good, Ky Alex. Kyle, you're sculpting clay, not stone. Be a little more gentle. Come on, Nash. You need to work well with others. Mia, could you help out Nal? Nal, you're working a little too slow. Hey, Jess, don't tell me that's supposed to look like some sort of necklace. That's right, it's the necklace that my mother brought for me when I was a little girl. The necklaces are for cute girls. Don't you remember the time you told me how beautiful this necklace looked on me, Kyle? I remember when you used to give me compliments like that all the time. Jess, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Sometimes I think you forget I even have feelings, Kyle. I said I was sorry. What else do you want? You have done well, but not well enough to impress me. Redouble your efforts. Oh yeah? Who do you have in mind? Mia's a good choice. Mia, I think you should lead us. Are you sure, Alex? I've never done anything like this before. You worry too much, Mia. You'll do just fine. Thank you, Nal. Well then, what should I make? Make something that you really like, Mia. Something you consider a treasure. All right, all right. I know what I want to make. Alex, make that prettier. Kyle, please try to be serious. Hold that part up, Jessica. Nash, I think you'd be I think you could be trying harder. Nal, if you're tired, you can take a rest. Mia, what's this? It's Gorgon Ghidra! Isn't he just the most adorable thing you've ever seen? I love little Gon. I had no idea you such a had such a fondness for monsters, Mia. You think I'm weird, don't you? But he's so cute. Look at his round body and his beady little eyes. He just makes me melt. Don't you think he's cute, Jessica? Uh, um, he's certainly unique. Don't you think so, Kyle? You really want to know what I think? If this thing were any uglier, it'd be my butt. What the? <clears throat> Next time you cover my mouth like that, Nash, I'm going to gnaw your fingers off. No need for you to be so rude to Mia Brigand. You're only going to hurt her feelings. Stop it, you two. Don't fight in front of cute little Gon. You've done well, but not well enough.
I think we should pressure Mia into being the leader. We're running out of choices, Alex. Who are you going to pick? Nash looks like he can handle it. What about you, Nash? You seem confident that Damon will be impressed by your treasure. You won't be the only one, Alex. I expect that all of you will be awestruck by it. Sounds exciting, Nash, but what is it exactly? Just watch it take shape, Mia. I think you'll be especially impressed by my insight. If it's a sculpture of Nash, <laughs> I'm going to be upset. Alex, this section needs to be much more detailed. Kyle, are you paying attention to anything I'm saying? You're doing it all wrong. You need to use a lighter touch than that, Jessica. That's perfect, Mia. No, perhaps you should let Mia do your part. Nash, is this? Yes, it's vain. There's nothing more important to me. The sculpture is excellent, but if you wish to impress me, you will show me your real treasure. Real treasure? Kind of cute when you play dumb, Nash. <laughs> your real treasure is right here. What are you talking about? Come on, man, it's her. Mia Alsa. There's nothing more important to you than she is. I knew it. I knew Nash had a crush on Mia. You're wrong. Mia is my... my... I don't think I've ever seen such a deep shade of red. Come on, Nash, say it with me. Mia is my treasure. La la la, I can't hear you, the youth of the magic guild, bold and bright. The sculpture makes me... Must be making you nostalgic for home, Nash. Why else would you be singing the magic guild school song? I don't know which of these two is more clueless. The treasure you made does not impress me. You must try again. Oh, Alex, who's going to be our leader this time? Definitely not now. <laughs> then who's it going to be? I guess I'll be the leader. Well, perhaps I could try. Great, so what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Of course, leave it to me, Alex. Pay attention, Alex. I told you not to do it that. Do it like that. Kyle, you suck. You use too much clay there, Jessica. They're not that big. Nash, are you sure you don't want to take a break? Way to go, Mia. It's just beautiful, Alex. It really looks like the goddess. Well, of course it does. You had to had me to fix all your mistakes. That is indeed a beautiful treasure. You have passed the final test. Alex, I was starting I was trying to make a statue of Luna, but everyone else thinks it's the goddess. Oh well, I guess I should accept that as a compliment. You needn't explain why you come here. Here is the book you seek. Got the Thieves' Guide. The Way of Thieves! Will you read us a few pages, Damon? Rule 1. Always be careful. Rule 2. Don't get caught. Rule 3. See Rule 1 and 2. What? How's reading that going to help anyone be a thief? Alex, you are the one who seeks to become the Dragon Master, are you not? Yes, I am. Yes, of course you are. You have the green eyes. I believe it will be in your best interest to read all the books in my spire. You must work diligently to absorb all the generations of knowledge amassed within them. I shall remove the magic seal that prevented them from being read by those who have not impressed me. It is an honor to be allowed into your library, Lord Damon. Thank you, Nash, but you have earned your access to these tomes. Besides, knowledge is meaningless if it is not shared with others, even if that knowledge is difficult to accept. You will learn this to be true, Alex, and you must prepare yourself for it. You should return this book to the Thieves' Guild quickly, Alex. Your time is increasingly precious. How does he know all this stuff about us, Alex? I have lived for a very long time, but there is much in this world I have yet to fully understand. But you are the keeper of the world's knowledge. How much is there left for you to learn? Many things, child. So very many things, but especially about people. 
I finally isolated myself here because I found myself so very frustrated with human behavior. I wonder if your plan to trade the book I gave you for the white dragon wings is wise. I don't care what Damon says, he does know everything. The end of one adventure is also the beginning of the next. History becomes legend and dreams become reality. The Prophecies of Daemon. The world shall shudder when magic meets metal and many innocent people shall be injured and slain. And the lush green planet shall be as a, as a mirage of days past. When at last the fate of this world shall hang in the balance as it rests on the love of a young boy and girl. Prophecies of Daemon. Though the power of the dragon shall be lost, the hope of mankind shall be found within the shining blue star. Tiny angels with gossamer wings frolic around a shimmering spring. Prophecies of Daemon. Dragon Master Dine set into motion the series of events that would decide the fate of our world. But that fate will rest in the hands of Dine's successor, a young man with the power of love on his side. It has been said that the craft which carried Alfina's children from the Blue Star to this world was a vast city. Vain? Alfina's sword is the sacred blade trusted, entrusted to the Dragon Master by the hand of the goddess Alfina. It is symbolic of the Dragon Master, who stands as an ambassador for the people and fights to protect this world. Prophecies of Damon. A beast of towering steel crushes the land and leaves a trail of blood and terror in its wake. Yet the greatest terror of all still remains to be witnessed, as the people of this world will understand in the days which lie before them. A person with a kind heart can make the worst of mistakes with the best of intentions, but the thing kindness is necessary to correct those mistakes. Pure heart shall be trapped in darkness, and a once abandoned persona shall shake its core. Divine Litany. Ugh, okay.
Its world was transformed into a lush green planet by Alfina's magic. If that magic were to ever disappear, the world would once again be covered entirely by barren wasteland. In order to protect the goddess tower, the home of Alfina, Vane circles it in an eternal orbit. If there is an imminent danger to Alfina, Vane's true power will be unleashed. Vane's true power? I wonder what that could be. Uh, she knows. <laughs> the will of the one, which threatens the existence of Lunar and feeds on wickedness in the hearts of men, was the very power which once destroyed even the great Blue Star. Though sealed away in the farthest reaches of space, his influence shall never fade, as long as darkness thrives within the hearts of men. Frosty the Daemon, a beast of towering steel, crushes the land and leaves a tree. But the greatest terror of all still remains to be witnessed, as the people of this world will understand in the days which lie before. A person with a kind heart can make the worst of mistakes. It has been said that the craft which carried... Okay. Okay. The frontier, the land where the light of the blue star does not reach, covered by a blanket of utter desolation and is devoid of the blessings of the goddess Alfina. Its barren state serves to remind us of what our world was like before the goddess reshaped it. Wielding Athena's sword, the dragon master soars the sky astride the white dragon and with that sacred blade protects the hopes, dreams, and future of the people. Mounting the white dragon, the, la the first dragon master descended upon, to the upon the face of the silent and barren wasteland. Can't read. To protect and cherish the shining blue star is our most sacred duty. The people of the blue star, fueled by hatred, engaged in a brutal war, and their world perished as a result. Althena entrusted the frozen blue star to a young girl and brought the last of the righteous people to this world. I don't think there was any more books. Yeah. Okay.
got him. Okay. talk to these people anymore. Go away. Go away! Alright, I did it. Ah, it's you. You said the next round was on you, but you took off. Well, in the state I left you, I'm surprised you remember a thing. But hey, forget about all that. I got the treasure from Demon Spire. Here, check it out. Fantastic work and quite a surprise, I might add. But regardless, listen up. Take it to Reza. You can gain admittance to the Thieves Guild. Great, let's get moving. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there something we were supposed to return to this guy? Yes, his notebook. Ah, yes, that's right. Thank you very much for the notebook. Why did I lend you this? Glad you're such honest people, or I'd have been screwed. But for fledging members of the Thieves' Guild, that's not really a virtue. But in this case, you saved my butt for being honest, so here, have this. Silver light. Hey, that's mighty kind of you. Maybe I can introduce you to a simmering pot of women next woman next time you're in Nanza. That's a nice offer, but I'm already engaged. She'd killed me if she heard about that. Before you go, a word of advice. Competition has really been heating up in the Thieves' Guild. You're going to make have to steal fast and hard to make any sort of impression on the guild. If you show the jewel to the guild, Chief and Reza, you can become a guild member. What is Silver Wing Light? Completely restores MP. Ooh.
Now it's loaded up. Okay. Jessica. Ready? Yeah. Yo, I have a lot of money now. But you could uh, train eat these. There's. I'm gonna do you're not interested in being thieves. Okay. Hand it over to the Thieves Guide. Kyle, you passed! Congratulations, my friend, and welcome to the Thieves Guild. Here, take this Thieves Crest. The door behind the counter is the entrance to the Thieves' Bazaar. I think that's a good place to start looking for your item. And when you do, show your crest to whoever's selling it. Oops, I almost forgot. Check out the back of your crest for instructions on how to open treasure chests. Be able to crack any chest no matter how tightly it's locked. Pretty useful, huh? Open locked chests. I heard you met Damon. A man is so ancient, he must be one giant wrinkle by now. I hear he complains a lot, but he's worth the effort. Remember the Thieves Guild motto, a moment of caution or a lifetime of confinement. Hey, I just got back from Meridia and I did a damn good job. Never seen the boss so happy. 
Our men in Moravia did a great job this month. They really cleaned up during the attack on the, by the Vile Tribe. I knew adding those bonus incentives to the contract was a good idea. Hoping the boss is happy enough with my performance to give me a vacation. I damn well need one. Sound more like an office worker than a thief. Keeping track of what's going on in the world is very important to the Thieves Guild. That's what I do here. I follow up on the latest news and gossip. Hear any rumors, no matter how silly it sounds, you make sure to tell me about it, okay? Doing this long enough to know that the craziest rumors turn out to be true. Or a dozen of rumors about the Vile Tribe and the Magic Emperor are preparing for war against us. Completely ridiculous, of course. The Vile Tribe would crush by Galleon if they tried anything. We need a key. Silver light. Now I have to go back around and get all the fucking red chests. I'll probably do that off screen because that's tedious. It's going to be super tedious. Hi. You must be Lily. Say, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you friends of Grandpa's? My name is Lily. I'm Jessica. Lily, I know your Grandpa's told you this, but I'll tell you just in case. You really shouldn't be so trusting of strangers. My Grandpa worries about me, so I never get to go out. Get out and have any fun. It's drag. I'm certain it's just because he cares about you. I made a lot of new friends today. I can't wait to tell my Grandpa all about you. The kid has a sweet voice. Alex, she reminds me of Luna. I made a lot of new friends today. I can't wait... Okay. Now you're one of us, hey hey. Just thrilled to be in the club. I believe I left again. Why are there so many locked doors? We got armor, we got shields, we got helmets, we got rings, we got bloody everything. Find a wider selection of protected gear anywhere else. I'll see you again soon. Well, howdy do, savvy shoppers. Have I got a primo purchase for you, my friends? It's a thing with wings. I have no idea how to use them, but they have magic in them in them or something. Wanted to teach you how to use them, pal. Uh, hey, you're the. See this crest? Recognize it? Yes, it's a thieves guild crest. I know you know what that means, kiddo. But. You weren't in the guild when I stole this from you. You're gonna split hairs with Kyle of Nanza, huh? Not a wise decision. You're that Kyle? Well, spank my bottom and call me Pinky. Just ripped off the king of all rip-offers. Got dragon wings. Here's your bloody thing back, and here's a little something extra. No hard feelings, okay? Hey, I got soap. <laughs> my reputation precedes me, Jess. Reputation? I think the word you want is notoriety. Too bad you took that thing back. I never sold a magic item before. Guess it's back to selling the same old stolen crap for me. I'm so bummed out. Yo? Thank you very much. Come again and shop until you collapse from exhaustion or drop even. 
Welcome new customers, welcome to the theme Thieves Bazaar of Reza. It has no equal. If you don't see anything you like, don't worry, we'll steal it and sell it to you. Nothing Thieves Bazaar doesn't have, or can't get. Humble greeting shoppers, care to look at some magic goods from Vayne? We receive stolen goods from Vayne every day, so stop in frequently. Take a look at my magic wing wigs. Never seen hair pieces like this before. Looks natural when it's soaking wet. It smells natural when you set it on fire. Whatever real hair can do, these wigs can do. Dandruff? No problem. Head lice? Yes, indeed. So what the heck are you waiting for to get your magic wig today? These wigs were stolen from the legendary Black Rose Street, and now they're gone. They're gone! By now, and I'll throw in a magic comb absolutely free. Say so long to Calyx. Jeez, I don't understand a word that's written on these blueprints. It's like having a treasure chest full of gold and not being able to pick the lock. Ah. The more I look at these blueprints, the less sense they make. Ah. My stock in trade is to buy and sell the wild and wacky. Kids have anything you don't want or don't know what the hell it is? Hmm. Okay. Well, we got better equipment. Oh, Lily, why don't you come with me? I'm going to take us to a cool place. I don't know. My grandpa will be worried about me. No, he won't. I shall tell him where you're going. Now, oh, come on. Let's have some fun. But another girl already asked me to play with her. That voice. It's Royce! Wait to Lily, don't go anywhere with her or you'll never get to play or you'll never get to play again. Royce wants to take you to a scary place far away from here. Well, well, I knew there was a pack of pulling pubescents in my future. I just didn't know when you'd show up. I can't believe you'd stoop so low as to kidnap a child, you sagging sack of dung. Now, now, watch the language around the dear little girl, shall we? Hey, witch. Could have explained why you're kidnapping songstresses before I lop your head off. I'm afraid that the secrets, secrets you muscle-bound twit. Unless, of course, you care to come along with Lily and me to the frontier. Come now, little girl. We have so much to do. Lily, what's going on? Grandpa, help me, Grandpa. This bad lady wants to take me a... No. Alex, not again! Please excuse me, Alex. How could I leave without peering into your fu- Oh, please excuse me, Alex. How could I leave without peering into your future? Your dreams of becoming the Dragon Master are extinguished along with the Crimson Spirit. Oh, how I hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> Fortune, Alex. Was she talking about the Red Dragon? The only Crimson-colored creature I could think of. That's right, Galleon's going for the Red Dragon next. So we have to find him first. None of you are going anywhere. Oh, none of you are going anywhere. Not until you tell me what the hell is happening around here. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. All we know for sure is that the Vile Tribe is kidnapping songstresses. And that we haven't been able to stop them from doing it. That's why we need to find the Red Dragon before Galleon does. It m might be able to help us. The Red Dragon. This cave is west of here, but you can't get there by land. However, I have a friend who knows how to get there another way. Follow me to the Thieves' Bazaar. Yeah, it's you. There's an impassable mountain pass between here and the Red Dragon Cave. Passable by foot, anyway. But I uh, acquired the design blueprints for a flying boat that would let you fly over the mountains. I have been able to make a bit of sense out of them. But maybe they'll help you in your search for Lily. Got balloon plans. Take these to Illuk and talk to an inventor there. I think he'll be able to help you. Could you be any less specific? There has to be more than one. Getting Lily back is more important to me than any amount of treasure. Plus, if I help you get her back, I'll score major points with the head of the guild. You need my help, Kyle. I gave it to you without permission. 
When you needed my help, Kyle, I gave it to you without question. Now it's time for you to help me and Lily. Alrighty. Well, this is good and all, but... fortune ring. Silver light. Okay. Stew pot lid. There it is. So there's one chest in like each area, I think. Action ring.
can't get enough of the bunny babes. I keep telling the kid the only way you can make the shop better is to start serving drinks. I wish Ramus's dad could hear the rave review. How are you doing? You must be close to becoming a Dragon Master. After you rescue Luna, let's get back to Berg. I'd like to see my dad again. Oh, that reminds me, I got some new items in stock. Why don't you take a look? Bromides. Bromides that hinder me. But probably have, ooh, sexy pictures or whatever. Oh, they're of the, uh... I didn't even look at the fucking names. I just saw bromide. They're of the three evil, uh... Are they sisters? I have no idea. But it's the three evil women. Uh... Zenobia, who was pretending to be... Uh... Lemia... Thassia, who was pretending to be... The, uh... The head priest at the Alfina Shrine. And then Royce, who was... Roy, she wasn't pretending to be anyone. She she was just Royce. She lives revives past memories. Very expensive. I'm so curious. It looks like Okay. Help. Okay. So the thing is, is that... Like, there's a red chest in each area, but I don't remember where the red chest is. Is the problem. No. Help. Probably not going to be in a shop. It's probably going to be in a house. Hey. Okay. There's that. A lot of silver lights.
Damn. So but we're gonna pass the trial myself, by the way, is that go with you a magician in training? No, I Trials are difficult things, but let's give all we've got to overcome them. How about studying with me, too? Okay. Help. Which one was it? It was you. Okay. Angel's Tear. That's a revive, yes. go i think that's everything unless there was one in vain that i don't remember but i i don't remember there one being in vain or there being one in vain yes 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 yeah I don't remember there being one in Illuk, but if there was, we have to go here anyway to progress the story, so we can just do stuff when we get to that point. Um, but yeah, level 26 for basically the entire party. 74,000 money. Pretty good. How long have I been playing? Yeah, that's good. I think that's a good place to stop. Oh, we did a lot. We once again, we we did a lot. That that was fun. I am liking this game a lot more now that it's finally like picked up steam, and there's like an actual threat going on. 
There, there wasn't one for, like, the longest time. Now there is. It's great. Fantastic, even. But yeah, that is going to be it for now. Next time, we will continue on with the main quest, and we will uh, most likely be meeting the, uh, the Red Dragon? The Crimson Dragon? Is it just called the Red, or is it called the Crimson Dragon? Either way, we'll be seeing the Red Guy. We'll be seeing another dragon. Thank you all for watching. Especially if you got this far, and stick around. Because there's a lot more to come.